Before working with coffee, make sure that you cover your work area in quite a lot of newspaper because you are going to be making a big mess. Okay, the um, paper that I'm using today is from this little sketch pad. It's um, a locally made brand and it's slightly textured. It's acid free, um, A5 and 180 grams. So it should hold up to any liquid that I'm pouring onto the surface. So there's the pieces of paper, relatively smooth. I'm just going to put them down. And what I've done is I've boiled some water here. I've got my um, coffee. I'm going to take a spoonful of coffee and put it into this little bowl. So there's my coffee. Just a spoonful is more than enough. In fact, even half a spoonful will probably be fine. And then I'm just going to take my spoon. And you don't want the coffee to be too... That was probably about a teaspoon and a half. And just give it a good mix. And let all those little granules dissolve. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to have funny little blotchy granules on your uh, painting. This is quite dark. So if I was going to paint with this, I would start with this. Um, and this would probably be my darkest value. Okay, and I would use this to shade and then I would mix water into it. But I think I want it to be a little bit more liquid. So I'm going to pour a little bit. So maybe that's about two. Oh, disaster. Look, I've got water there, but it doesn't matter. We can work with this. Um, my studio is smelling amazing with the smell of coffee. I've got a little uh, saucer here. So you can pour the coffee into the saucer. And then what you can do is you can take another cup and you can put the cup and you can create some amazing coffee stains. Let me move that into the middle so you can see what I'm doing. What you can also do is you can use little containers like this, but use your imagination, look around your house and Again, you can rub that into the coffee. It might not be as amazing as the... Um, and then you can dip it. Oh, it is making quite incredible shapes. And you can make some really interesting shapes. So I'm going to put that aside and let it dry. And then for these two, I think I'm just going to do a lovely spill. So, just emptying coffee onto the surface, moving it around. Okay, I think I want a bit more than that. So I'm just going to do that and add the water onto the surface. And can you see it's spilling out onto my newspaper. So this is the the remnants of the coffee that I've got left from the last pour. I think I want to put quite a lot onto this piece of paper because I'd like quite a big stain on this piece. Whoa, I thought I could control it a little bit more than that. It's making quite a wonderful Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry so it looks like that and I'm going to put that aside and let that dry.